Y'all, we're making low carb chocolate mousse. Come on. Welcome to Highfalutin Low Carb, the random web series where we find and test the best low carb recipes this crazy internet has to offer. Today, we're gonna to be testing low carb chocolate mousse. Stay tuned. All right, guys, low carb chocolate mousse. You'd think that would be an easy task, but whoa, it is not. There are lots of options out there. Now, the other day I was perusing Instagram and came across uh, the, if you don't follow me on Instagram, by the way, do so. Uh, as soon as this video is over, go over there to Instagram and follow me. Um, I was following, uh, looking on Instagram and saw uh, by Michael Silverstein, um, the Chef Michael Keto, I believe is his handle over there, his dark chocolate salted, um, chocolate mousse, cheesecake mousse, I think. Uh, anyway, it looked amazing, amazing. So that set me off on a search for popular low carb and keto chocolate mousse recipes. And today we're gonna test two of those. The first one is um, Michael Silverstein's salted dark chocolate cheesecake mousse. And this is at his website, chef-michael.com. And the second recipe is super popular. This is by uh, Lauren Lester, who created this for ketodietapp.com. And it's five minute keto chocolate mousse. And when I say this is popular, you guys know um, that if you look at recipes, you'll see reviews uh, in, in the Google listings. Some of them have, you know, 10, 20, 30, some have three, 400. This thing has almost a thousand positive reviews, all of it. It's got like four and a half stars. So Lauren Lester, uh, sounds like people like your um, five minute keto chocolate mousse, so we're gonna try that. Now, before we begin, I need to give a huge thank you to the sponsor of this video, Superfat. You guys know I'm pretty particular about the companies that I choose to work with. And when a company asks if they can sponsor me, uh, I have to do some soul searching to see if it's something that I really believe in and wanna to present to you guys. But this is a company that I had already been enjoying and loving their product for quite a while, so when they asked if they could sponsor some videos, I was like, you better believe it. Superfat manufactures keto and low carb and paleo uh, snacks uh, that are 100% real, no fillers, no palm oil, no artificial ingredients. It makes uh, keto and low carb snacking guilt-free. I've got a couple of their, their products here that I really particularly enjoy. So they have some delicious keto mixes like the pancake mix and the brownie mix. These are these are super popular, but what I'm about to change your life with right now are their cookie bites. Guys, these things are ridiculously good. This is what got me started on super fat. These cookie bites are so good, and let me tell you why. Um, yes, they work great as just a snack of a cookie, right? These, let me show you one. They are so good. Now, great as a cookie. Uh, this is probably not an approved use of this, and they don't even know that I'm gonna say this, but here's what I do with them. Put some of these cookie keto bites in, pour you a little nut milk over the top. You don't need much. And when I tell you this is the best cookie flavored cereal, I ain't joking. I mean it. Whew, y'all. Um, the double dark chocolate are probably my favorites. The uh, chocolate chip, the regular chocolate chip are good. Uh, the snickerdoodle are great. They will always offer you 15% uh, off if you use my code HF15. So go to superfat.com and use code HF15. You can get 15% off of any product. But for a few days, you can go get five products for 35% off. So be sure to go to superfat.com slash 5435 and use code 5435 to get 35% off of five products that you throw in your cart. So Superfat, thank you so much for joining me here. That sponsorships like yours, they keep channels like mine on the air. And for that, I'm truly appreciative. So guys, if you want to support me, go use the link down below and save you a little bit of money. All right, now let's go make some chocolate mousse. All right, guys, so let's get started on our first recipe. Now, if you've been following my channel for the last few weeks, you know that we have done four different pizza crust battles. Um, I'll leave a link to the playlist up here so you can see it. Um, so it's time for a little something sweet. So today we're gonna do the first recipe, and this is salted dark chocolate cheesecake mousse. And this is by uh, Michael Silverstein at Chef 
Michael.com. So if you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back. Um, I don't actually give exact ingredients for these recipes. These are not my recipes. I'm just here to test them. So I ask that you please go to the links down here on the screen. They'll also be in the video description below and in the pinned comment below. And check out these recipe creators. The people that did the hard work to create them, they deserve the traffic. So I'm gonna leave the links here to chef-michael.com so you can check out his recipe below. All right, so let's get started on this recipe. The difference in, in, in this recipe is the added cheese, uh, cream cheese to make the cheesecake portion of this portion of this mousse. So we're starting with some, obviously some cream cheese and this has uh, been sitting out at room temperature. It's got to be room temperature or slightly warmer, he said. And we're gonna add some sweetener to this and this is a little bit of allulose sweetener. It doesn't have a lot of the aftertaste that a lot of uh, low carb sweeteners like erythritol might. So, but you can certainly use erythritol, he said in the recipe. So we're just gonna whip this with a spatula to get the allulose and cream cheese combined and you wanna make this nice and fluffy. So let's do that now. Okay, so we've got this about as combined and fluffy as we're gonna get it without uh, using the, the trusty mixer, which we've got over here. The next step in this recipe, this is pretty easy. There's only like four or five ingredients, are um, dark chocolate uh, sugar-free chips. Uh, he said use chalk zero. I didn't have that. I do have lilies, um, but it just needs to be sugar-free. And obviously when we're talking about sugar-free, we don't just mean like the absence of sugar, which that is the case, but there also is a sweetener in this, whether it's uh, stevia, monk fruit, uh, erythritol. There's also some sweetener in here, which is why we didn't use a whole lot of sweetener in the cream cheese. So we're going to melt this in 30 second increments and we'll in the microwave and we'll be right back. All right, guys. So I did exactly what he said not to do. <laughs> he said it took about 90 seconds in his microwave and I went a little past 60 seconds in my microwave and it went from melted to it seized, right? You don't want to cook this. I don't know if you can see that, but that is not what we want. We wanted it gently melted. So, um, Chef Michael, if you happen to see this, Teehee, um, I'm sure he is not watching this. Let me know how I can save this from seizing. Uh, otherwise, I'm gonna go back. Thankfully, I have a few more um, dark chocolate chips that I'm gonna start over with and I'll meet you right back here. A few moments later. All right guys, so I'm back and um, I just kept stirring through this uh, and it seemed to loosen right back up. So I don't think there's any tr great tragedies here. It looks nice and velvety and smooth. So ignore my concerns. Uh, just don't overcook it like I did. So, um, and of course the only day I ever wear a white hat, I'm gonna get chocolate all over this hat somehow. I'm guaranteed to. All right. Next is to whip our cream. So in a stand mixer with the whisk attachment, we're just gonna take some heavy whipping cream, heavy cream, and pour her in. Make sure you get it all out of there. And we're gonna turn this on high and whisk this uh, to stiff peaks. So I'm gonna do that now, okay? Right, guys so we are at uh, stiff peaks now or what I feel like is stiff peaks you want to see some some action where it can where it can stand up so we're there now so now we add in our uh, cream cheese uh, sweetener mixture that we've already worked on over here so this looks like mayonnaise but it's not so in this goes get out of my way and make sure you get it all don't leave anything behind Okay, so this we're going to beat back on high for about 15 seconds to incorporate this, okay? Okay, this looks great. Now I'm just going to, just for good measure, I'm going to scrape down the sides and the bottom just to make sure we don't have any unincorporated ingredients. And I'm going to use this little spatula here at the end to get this out of here, so I'm trying to clean it off. All right, let me just make sure that's good. Okay. So now we take our melted chocolate and we slowly, all caps, slowly drizzle it in while this is on medium speed. So let's do that now, okay? All 
All right, so let's see what we've got here. Ooh, this looks like chocolate ice cream, to be honest with you. Ooh, that's pretty. We're gonna gently pour this into four ramekins. It makes four individual little servings. Um, I'm gonna make one in a little decorative bowl just so that I can have one for a thumbnail. So let's pour these out. Let me find a spatula. All right, so let's fill these ramekins and then it's gonna go in the fridge and then we're gonna top it with a little bit of sea salt and some berries and then we'll move on to our other recipe, okay? All right, so these beauties are going in the uh, fridge for about a half hour while I make the other recipe. And then we're gonna try them all at the same time. So I'll meet you right back here in just a few minutes. All right, guys, so we're back, cleaned up, and ready for our second recipe. And this one is, uh, again, by Lauren Lester. And she wrote, uh, she created the recipe for ketodietapp.com. And it's five-minute keto chocolate mousse. So let's get started on that. Again, be sure to use the links here on the screen and in the video description below. Now, <clears throat> I'm gonna use a, a, a hand mixer because that is specifically what her instructions said. It probably would have been easier with a stand mixer, but if I'd have done that, 17 of you'd have been in the comments saying, you used a hand mixer instead of a stand mixer and it's all wrong. So I'm doing it exactly as it's written. Now, I'm gonna give you a caveat. I would normally do this in a glass bowl so that you can see what I'm doing, but that bowl is too wide. And this Cuisinart hand mixer is the worst, sorriest appliance I have ever seen. So I've got to use a metal bowl um, because it will throw, this thing is zero to 100. Like there is no finesse at all. It's got a clutch in it like a 1973 Gremlin. And if you turn it on, it's gonna throw food all over the kitchen. So my long story short is that I'm using it in a metal bowl and I'm sorry you can't see it. All right, so this is pretty easy, five minutes she said, right? So we're gonna start with some, obviously some heavy whipping cream. This does not have uh, the cream cheese in it that made uh, the other one probably a little creamier, but we're gonna find out, no judgments just yet. To this, we're gonna add a little cocoa powder. Again, if you wanna know how much, you know where to go. Follow the link on the screen. All right, so I'm gonna use my mixer and we're gonna get this uh, nice and fluffy, okay? So let's do that now. That is really thick and beautiful. Now, um, our other recipe obviously had uh, sweetener in the chocolate chips, and it had sweetener in the um, uh, the, the allulose, right? So there was there were two kinds of sweeteners. Um, in this recipe, we are using stevia. So let's uh, it says 12 to 15 drops of liquid stevia. So that's what I'm going to do now. If you're sensitive to stevia and think it has a bitter taste, maybe this isn't the recipe for you. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, sixteen. Okay. I went one extra by accident. And then uh, she also adds to this some cinnamon. Not much, it says to taste. I'm using the amount that she recommends. And then we just uh, combine this really quickly. All right. So five minutes is about right. That was, that was pretty easy. So now we're gonna fill some ramekins with this. And there's not as much here. It does make uh, two servings, she said, instead of four. And I'm gonna do, um, I'll do them in these. I'm trying to make a pretty one so that I can, uh, I need a spoon, so that I can make a thumbnail. All right, so our two servings are ready to go. I'm gonna put these in the fridge. I'm gonna let them chill for just a few minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up and set up for our tasting and I'll be right back. 
All right, guys, so we are back. Our moose, uh, meese, mooses, our mooses have chilled and we're ready to taste these. All right, so look at how beautiful they are. Um, this is uh, Chef Michael's uh, salted dark chocolate cheesecake mousse. I added my um, Malden sea salt. I have, have finally got a chance to use my $47 box of salt on a little something anyway. So that's been garnished there. And then this is the five minute keto chocolate mousse uh, by Keto Diet App. And this one is sweetened with stevia. This one's sweetened with allulose and whatever is in your sugar-free chocolate chips. Now, I just wanna say before we taste these, I'm gonna say something that I've said in multiple videos that raises some hackles, but it is the truth. Heavy whipping cream has carbs. I don't care what your label says. I, I see so many people say, heavy cream has zero carbs. My label says it right here, one tablespoon, zero carbs. Listen, there are no magic cows. All heavy cream, regardless of where it comes from, has 0.4 to 0.6 grams of carbs per tablespoon. Because of labeling laws, particularly in the United States, you're allowed to make your serving sizes so small, and then you're allowed to round down so that it looks like you have zero. So in other words, by law, if your heavy cream has 0.4 grams of carbs per serving, by law, they're allowed to say it's zero. But you better believe they're in there, because like I said, there are no magic cows. It's cream, right? It's cream. So it will vary a little bit depending on brand, but you can pretty much count on 0.4 to 0.6 carbs. So when you're using a cup of it in a recipe, well, there's 16 tablespoons in a cup, so that means there's probably six to eight carbs in that cup of cream. Is that a whole lot? No, I mean, you're not eating a whole cup of it, but I have seen people make bulletproof coffee and some other things and like to eat a whole cup, literally a cup of whipped heavy cream and cocoa and be like, this is zero carbs. Uh-uh, it ain't, there's carbs in there. So just be careful. Uh, I, I did a whole video on hidden carbs um, it's been several years ago i'll put a link up to it in one of these spots if you want to check it out but anyway long story short let's try this all right here's chef michaels i put a little salt on there and let's see oh the texture <laughs> look at that oh okay i'm blowing on it like it's hot Mm. That is decadent. Get a little whipped cream. It's like the softest pudding you've ever tasted. There is no aftertaste because the allulose that is so good. That is so good. Okay. Let's taste our other one. This one is more like a traditional mousse. It doesn't have the cream cheese. It's stevia and it had a little uh, cinnamon in it, which I find interesting. So let's taste that. It's also beautifully and creamy. Holds up well. Okay. Mm-hmm. light, fluffy. I gotta say, it tastes like Cool Whip and cocoa powder. <laughs> I mean, it, there's not a lot to it. It's good. It is nowhere near as creamy and unctuous and flavorful as this one. This just lays on your tongue like butter. Holy cow. That is superb. All right, guys, there you have it. Low carb keto chocolate mousse. Can it be done? <laughs> it sure can. And if you throw some uh, cream cheese in it, boy, it is good. And the flaky sea salt, you know, that seems like it's just sort of a fluffy thing to do, but there's a reason that flake sea salt is a finishing salt. It lays on the tongue. It touches a lot of surface area and it's just enough with that chocolate to be fantastic. Um, go check out both of these recipes for sure. Both of them are, are great. 
but particularly Chef Michael, you did excellent on this. Uh, guys, go check out his um, uh, Instagram channel. It is, uh, his Instagram page is fantastic. His work is fantastic. Uh, he's a handsome son of a gun too. And I've already got his uh, new keto cooking cookbook that everybody is a grog about. Um, it's already on its way to me, so I can't wait to try some other of his food. So thank you so much. Like I say every time, these videos are a way for me to maintain my low carb way of eating. And looking in the end of that camera is awesome often as I can helps keep me honest. So I appreciate that you have come along for the journey. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram and Facebook, be sure to go do that. I'm going to leave some links down here. I communicate a little more frequently and I'm a little more freely through those channels. Although YouTube will always be my home. Be sure to go check me out over there. I need to give another huge thank you to Superfat for sponsoring this video. Guys, we made a, a wonderful snack and a dessert here, but if you don't want to take the time to do it, Superfat's got you covered. They make guilt-free snacks for keto, low-carb, and paleo diets. So be sure to go check them out. Um, like I said, you can always use HF50 for 15% off, but right now for the next, I believe, week after this video goes live, you can use the, the link down below, superfat.com slash 5435. Put five products, any five products in your cart and you get 35% off. So thank you again, Superfat. It's sponsorships like yours. They keep channels like mine on the air and I really appreciate it. Now, I also need to thank my um, Patreon sponsors. You're gonna see them listed here on the screen. These guys are my true rock stars. Without this, none of this would be possible. If you don't know what Patreon is, um, think of it as the tip jar for the internet. It allows people like you, who enjoy what people like me do here on YouTube, you can give a dollar or two a month just to sort of keep the train on the tracks, as it were. So these people are sponsors, and I really appreciate their support. So if you want to be on this list right here, go check out my uh, uh, link at patreon.com slash highfalutin low carb. All right, guys, I will see you very soon for another low carb video. I love you. Bye-bye.